Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel. I'm here to do a video on uh, my recent discovery of Bluetooth MIDI now being able to be used on Windows. I know before they had programs in the Windows Store like MIDI Berry and they had Windows updates that promised that these sort of things were going to be able to be used and I exhausted myself trying to get it to work. Um, about a month ago had some Windows updates happen. You know, I just went back and tried it again and luckily it worked and I want to walk you through the steps of what you're going to need to do and what you're going to need to download in order to get this to work with your computer. So take a look at the following links and screenshots of the websites I'm going to walk you through and that's going to help you at least get the groundwork for what you're going to need. All right. The first thing you're going to need to do is download Loop MIDI. Now this software was made by Tobias Erickson and you're going to need to follow the link in the description on this channel and you can also reference the screenshot that I'm going to provide that will show you that you're on the right page and where you need to click for the download. After you have that complete, you're going to want to continue on to the next step. Now once you've got Loop MIDI download it and install it on your computer. You want to open it up and for me to make it easier for myself the new port that I created I just renamed it BLE for Bluetooth Low Energy so that way if I'm using the same device via USB I'm not confused when I'm selecting it within my DAW. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go down to the lower left hand corner and click on that plus symbol that's going to add a new port if there's not one already there and then I double clicked on the, the name there and just renamed it to make it easier for myself to reference. Next thing we're going to get into is downloading MIDI Berry and MIDI Berry is something you can download from the Windows Store and you're going to want to download that once you've done it I want you to go ahead and open it up and we'll continue on the next step from there you know, if you're not sure how to spell it or anything you can fast forward to the next part of the video where it'll be right there in the application screenshot that I'll be showing. So once you've downloaded MIDI Berry and installed it you'll open it up and this is where you'll be. Now you may not see everything on there because I have multiple devices so don't get too confused I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. The top section is where you're going to select what keyboard or drum pad that you have that's Bluetooth that you want to use with your computer in your DAW. So I have my Seaboard block selected there. You can see it's highlighted in a lightish red. And then underneath it is the output. Now this could be a little bit confusing, but hopefully it's not. For the output, uh, the loop MIDI that you installed is going to generate two MIDI ports on here. Right now I'm looking at the one that's MIDI 0AB1A389. Now it's also going to generate one that's MIDI AB1A388. Whatever number it generates, it could be different than that. Um, you're always going to want to go with the one that has the higher last digit. Next, you're going to want to open your up output. your digital audio workstation. So, and even though it doesn't say BLE, which is usually like it under the loop MIDI, file drop down. That's what MIDI Berry here is going to go into control surfaces and generic number. You're going it doesn't to, have a way to, be able to try to, to auto detect it. this. And you'll be able to test it out right away to make sure this works new by pressing keys and on your keyboard. Generic you can see below where it says input monitor, control, and you can see that it's recognized my keyboard, keyboard input no from my seaboard block. And you're going and to go down to the from MIDI here. If you're not getting any signals, then it's not working. Um, always first make sure that as you see on through there's the basic clearing process where I have by going input and going into your computer Bluetooth settings. Adding device MIDI. and pairing you name your to something Bluetooth else, you should be able to see that in Loop MIDI, or your, and you uh, should be able to open your up your DAW device and see with your computer whatever first. You name that port, you're not going to recognize it. In loop it's not going to show uh, up here. In Loop MIDI, if, if your keyboard doesn't you show up on the sync up and do input, all the other stuff, that means it's not paired and connected with your Once you download Loop device. MIDI, you already have that virtual port. It's just nothing will be going through it until you actually continue with the so MIDI So once you've downloaded MIDI Berry, install it. 
You'll open and it up. From here, you should be good to go. Be. If you have any further questions, not, feel you free might not to comment see everything below on there because I have multiple devices, sure to like so don't get too Thanks. confused. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. The top section is where you're going to select what keyboard or drum pad that you have that's Bluetooth now, that you want to use with your computer and your DAW. So I have my Seaboard block selected there. You can see it's highlighted in a lightish red. And then underneath it is the output. Now this can be a little bit confusing, but hopefully it's not. For the output, yeah, that's uh, what's up. the loop Windows MIDI 10. that you installed is going to generate two MIDI ports on here. Right now I'm looking at the one, the MIDI 0A, B, 1A. Thank you guys for watching. Um, you're always going to like and subscribe. has the higher last digit. That's going to be your output. So even though it doesn't say BLE like it does in loop MIDI, that's what MIDI Berry here is receiving it. It's just that generic.